Blue Origin New Shepard NS-16 mission. Will Bezos fly to space? Blue Origin wants to show that the company isn't worse in terms of technology than SpaceX. The race continues, and NS-16 mission is set to be the starting point of the new age when people will agree that Jeff Bezos isn't only just a businessman who sells things on Amazon, but is a space exploration enthusiast who stands on one level with Elon Musk and NASA. Bezos wants to be the first man to launch a space tourist. The NS-16 mission is planned in July 2021 and will be the first crewed mission with some passengers on board. This will practically be the first space tourism experience. Recently, there was an auction and a man won the right to fly to space with Jeff Bezos for $28 million. So, now we know for sure that Bezos himself is going to be one of the first ever tourists in space. New Shepard test flights. The NS-15 was the 15th test flight, and it showed that the rocket is basically ready for taking humans to the low Earth orbit and holding them there for up to 11 minutes. The NS-15 mission took an empty capsule packed with cameras to the altitude of nearly 100 kilometers, which was pretty cool. But the next mission is set to have people on board. All flights of New Shepard were successful, although they have never launched spacecrafts with people inside. Now they claim that more than a decade of work with New Shepard projects ensured the rocket and capsule are absolutely safe and that they can take a tourist to space without any preparation beforehand. We doubt that it's that safe because bringing an unprepared traveler 100 kilometers in the air will obviously be very risky. But we believe that Blue Origin had good calculations and will take responsibility for the words of their authorities. What will the flight be like? When you think about the journey to space, you probably imagine an astronaut rushing towards zero gravity zone and orbiting the Earth a couple of times. But no, New Shepard and NS-16 mission will be very different. The overall time of being in the zero gravity zone will be around nine minutes, while the entire time of the flight will approximately be 11 minutes. It takes more time for you to get to work than it will take Bezos and his fellow passenger to get to space. They will travel an altitude of 62 miles, which is considered to be the edge between Earth's atmosphere and space. This type of flight is called suborbital, and they don't necessarily take people to outer space. With that being said, no one really knows where exactly the starting point is for space. The maximum speed of the rocket is 2300 miles per hour, which is pretty tough to fathom. You will be amazed to know that the orbitable flight uses launchers that achieve 17,000 miles per hour, and that's not so easy to bear if you aren't a trained astronaut. After the launcher burns almost all of its fuel, the passenger capsule will detach and continue its journey towards open space. The launcher will descend back down to Earth to land in a safe place, because Blue Origin designed it to be reusable for future launches. Just like Falcon 9, for example. The passenger capsule will hover for a while in the space-atmosphere border zone, and has huge windows, so astronauts and tourists will have the opportunity to observe the view. We believe this would be the perfect journey for flat earthers. The capsule then will begin its descent, deploying parachutes at some point to slow down to about 20 miles per hour before landing. Will it really be safe? Well, we don't think Bezos would risk his life, but traveling to space has always been his dream. And we can't say that this kind of flight is absolutely safe. The huge overload will be experienced at some point of the journey, and anything can happen. The capsule can be ejected from the New Shepard launcher if something goes wrong, and it's equipped with emergency parachutes in case the main ones are defective. But still, the risk is high. Here we should remember Virgin Galactic and one of their test suborbital flights in 2014, which took the life of a pilot due to a fatal mistake. And it has taken a lot of time for Virgin Galactic to build a second generation of its aircraft for safer flights. Many times during his interviews, Bezos said that he is aware of the associated risks of space travel, but it is all too worth it to him. 
Will Bezos and his fellow traveler have a successful mission? Will the NS missions continue after the NS-16? We'll see very soon.